Hi there, Phil Rogers, Lauren Hall here from Loan Market Edge. Self-employed borrowers often come up against the challenge of not being able to present a raft of pay slips and tax returns to back up their loan applications. But this I'll need stop not you stop from you being from being able to buy, buy your, your next home. Many lenders offer low documentation or low doc loans for self-employed borrowers who don't have the traditional pay slips and employment records. This means that rather than the usual documentation, you prove your ability to service a loan using bank statements, a declaration from your accountant, or GST BAS statements. Of course, with any mortgage application, you must still prove that your income outstrips your spending and expenses so that you can prove that you can service the loan. Getting this right is more than presenting a lender with a few quick sums on the back of a napkin. It takes a solid six to 12 months worth of preparation. Here are some tips to help. Reducing debt. Pay down your credit cards and personal loans and be sure to lower the credit limits as they are paid down as lenders assess the total credit available to you as a potential debt level, not just the amount that you owe. Speak to a finance broker, aka us. We can discuss how the structure of your business and your taxable income will impact your ability to borrow from different banks. We also have access to specialist lenders that assess your application on a case-by-case -case basis and tailor their products to self-employed borrowers like you, while the major banks maybe don't. Doing your taxes. Low doc lenders will still expect your taxes to be up to date. So make sure you're doing your taxes when you should and paying them on time. Save. Saving a deposit is obviously really important and showing your ability to live within your means and save at the same time is really important. This is key to serviceability. You want to show at least three to six months history of a high savings and low expenses. Low doc loans do differ from standard loans in a few ways, apart from the application process. Lenders will offset the extra risks they're taking, leaning to a self-employed borrower or contractor who's not providing the normal documents, by charging a slightly higher rate and placing some extra caps on the loan to value ratios. Generally, you can expect an interest rate for a low doc style loan to be anywhere between one to 2% higher than a full doc loan. Most lenders will also insist on a loan to value ratio of no more than 80%, meaning that under no circumstances will they lend more than 80% of the property value as assessed by the lender. In cases where the loan amount is between say 60% and higher of the property's value, some lenders may also require self-employed borrowers on a low doc facility to pay a version of lender's mortgage insurance or a risk fee. Applying for a loan when self-employed can of course be simpler when you're working with us. So reach out, get in touch, we look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.